Hi, my name is Mark Belaish. I'm president of torontojobs.ca. Did you know that the hidden job market might account for up to 90% of jobs? It could be somebody somewhere in the 70 to 80%, but some st stats will tell you that 90% of jobs are found through the hidden job market. So what is the hidden job market? The hidden job market is a term used to describe jobs that aren't advertised or posted online. So employers might not post jobs for a number of reasons. For example, they might be trying to save money on advertising. It might be a confidential or they might prefer getting candidates through employee, pro, or employee referrals. So generally speaking, the best jobs don't usually need a resume. If you can hear of opportunities without sending your resume, you're in the job market. So here are, are some hidden, here are some uh, tips on how to access that hidden job market. So number one, change the way you network. If you're only relying on social media, you're not into the hidden job market, but use LinkedIn and saying that as much as possible. That is a great business way of connecting with employers and into the hidden job market. Go to events as much as possible, whether it's virtual or when it's possible to go to live events. This is where you can really connect with people on a more face-to-face -face basis and connect into that hidden job market. Reach out to speakers at events. I find that when there's a speaker in a, at an event or when there's someone who's doing a webinar or something like that, if you reach out to them, you're really into a situation where, you're, you, where you can tap into that job market where positions might, be, come, might come up that you may not have otherwise heard of them. Ask for inter informational interviews. So an informational interview is an informal conversation that you can have with someone working in an area that is of interest to you. It's an effective research tool and is best done after preliminary online research. It is not a job interview, and the objective is not to find job openings. It's just to find information. Next point is join professional networking groups, whether online or in person, wherever possible. There's lots of LinkedIn groups, for example, that you can join, become a member, and network with those people internally. Contact employers directly. Jobs that are not advertised are, are not found anywhere online. So the only way you're gonna find out about them is by contacting those employers directly in some form or another, whether it's through a referral or through somewhere else. Now, referrals are a great way of finding, in tapping into the hidden job market. If you're in the pharmaceutical industry and your contact has a, has a, knows somebody who's the president at that pharmaceutical company, well, great. That's a way of tapping into that hidden job market. So great opportunity. Make use of Google News Alerts or any other kind of alerts that might come up to you through notifications for companies that you are interested in working at. You can watch certain pages on company websites or sign up for alerts on job boards about certain companies. These are great tools to find out about opportunities that may be advertised, but at least perhaps you might be able to find out some information that uh, on opportunities that may not be that well known. Don't just hang out on job boards. People come to me and say, you know, Mark, I've uh, been on job boards, I've been applying, I've been applying to hundreds of jobs every week and I'm not getting responses. That is not tapping into the hidden job market. That is just tapping into the active or visible job market. So try to definitely use that uh, strategy for job boards to make sure that you're in the game, at least for positions that you're qualified for, but really spend your time on that hidden job market. Think of that president of, of uh, uh, Microsoft or president of Glaxo. They, they're not responding to jobs on, online. They're getting those opportunities through referrals and through their network. Attend conferences, virtual or otherwise. Check around your work if you're working. Talk to people within the different areas, different departments. Get to know recruiters. Recruiters oftentimes and hiring managers can be highly elusive and difficult to connect with, but once you find those people, once you connect with those people, they can help you tap into the hidden job market. Many times when I'm working on a, a search for one of our clients, a, a, um, a, I, I might think to myself, yeah, you know what, I know a couple of people that would be great for this role. Maybe not, never advertise it, but those are pot potential opportunities that you might wanna connect with. Get active on social media. I've talked about that now already. Network creatively. So tap into areas that you would, wouldn't otherwise think about. So if you're, an, if you're an accountant, connect with other groups like a dentist group or, or something outside of accountants, not just other accountants.
that's when you can tap into opportunities that are a little bit outside the box. Subscribe to news alerts. Really important is practice your elevator speech, 30 seconds maximum. Try to really pare it down to what you're all about, what you're looking for, and what you're, what you're interested in. If you're not sure what an elevator speech is, just Google it. You'll find a lot of examples. If you went to school, university, college, or, or otherwise, high, even high school, check any alumni association groups. It's a good way of networking into contacts that, uh, to find opportunities that are never uh, advertised. Be involved in your community, whatever community that is. It could be a ge geographical community, it could be an ethnic community, but network within that community because that is also an, a great opportunity for people to refer you for opportunities that might come up, job postings, jobs, etc. And finally, treat people nicely. Do something for yourself, for someone else first. Pay it forward, because when you do that, you can, you can uh, build that relationship with people. Uh, so an example of that is if you see an article uh, about a company or a, a certain industry, make sure to send that out to the people that you know within that industry. It means it shows that you're thinking about them. So finally, in conclusion, your net your network network is your net worth, uh, an expression that goes a long way. So think about that. Your network is your net worth. So my name is Mark Blaish. I'm president of TorontoJobs.ca. Feel free to check out our website at torontojobs.ca. You can search and apply to positions directly online. You can sign up for job mail alerts, so alerts will get sent directly to you. Check out our torontojobs.ca YouTube channel where you can find out all kinds of videos that I posted and other people have posted that will help you in your job search. And then finally, connect with me on LinkedIn as well and follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. We're on all the social media. You can find out about upcoming events, uh, job search tips, and more. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay safe.